Hello and welcome. We're at the track covering the sport of kings. Coming up, the young riding star Jalon Samuel shines as the third and final racing season in Barbados finally gets going at the Garcia Savannah. We have the main weekend events from Trinidad and Tobago and Jamaica. A stakes tramp that the famous Churchill Downs for the Jamaican jockey Sean Bridgemahan. And we go to British Jump Racing with the big Betfair chase at Haydock. First to Barbados. The Ansem McCall Trophy and stakes the main event Saturday as racing finally from several rain delays returned to the Garcia Savannah for the first time in 11 weeks. Seven runners going including 2016 Sandalane Gold Cup winner and highest rated horse on the island Dorset at 72 odds for trainer Robert Pierce. The three horse Lucky Adventure at 5 to 1. Number four the 2 to 1 favorite Daunting David. The experienced Tom Trotman riding for trainer Liz Dean. Indiana Jones has Ricky Walcott up as a 3 to 1 bet. And the seven horse champion trainer Victor Cheeseman's Just a Fashion. Jalon Samuel riding at 5 to 2 odds. Let's get Dean Springer in with a call. They head down the back stretch with Dazzling David. Stay in front by three parts of a length from Lucky Adventure. Daunting David in a nice talking position behind the stable mate is third. On the outside is Just a Fashion fourth. Dorset is about a length and a half adrift of these. Two lengths before we get to Indiana Jones. Secret American will have to do a lot more from here. With three full longs to go, the opening quarter. Half in 52 and 2 as they head down towards the cannons. And it is till. No, Daunting David, who comes through and picks it up, as Dazzling David drops away very tamely. On the outside, just a fashion running at him. These two are four clear of Lucky Adventure. Dorset staying on as well. Indiana Jones will have to do a lot from here, and there are no more turns in the answer. McCall, oh, we've got ourselves a match race, and just a fashion now comes to the front. Daunting David didn't answer. It's just a fashion from Daunting David. Dorset trying to close, but you can sing this field a lullaby. They've been put to fight. Just a fashion. Fantastic. A perfectly judged ride from Jalon Samuel, who knew he had to keep close tabs on the favorite throughout. My main focus was to get a good break, um, get him to catch his feet, get him to sit down just behind the, the, the leaders, just stalk them, you know, and just, um, I know Don today was the horse, that's why it was next to him the whole, the whole um, race throughout, but when he got an inside run, you know, I, I just, I, I had to make that move and, and four wide and uh, actually like, when I made that move and everything and everything just worked out the way I thought it was and it did. Um, I know you had won the Gold Cup aboard Dorset. How much of a danger did you think he was going into this race? Well, he was a big, he was a big danger. You can't take it from him. He's a very good horse. Um, I was just hoping that the jockey just missed time the race, and he did. So <laughs> I was, I, 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 I was say I just got, a, I had a little luck on my side. The Aisha Syndicate's Just a Fashion, strong in the finish for the win by a length and a quarter at five to two odds. Gold Cup winner Dorset coming on to snatch second and the favorite daunting David third. 1 minute 43.40, the winning time for 7.85 furlongs for champion trainer Victor Cheeseman, who also scored in the co-feature Bryden Stokes Breeders' Classic with the Dabu winner Northern Star. Jalon Samuel also up to combine with Cheeseman for the feature race sweep. That especially sweet for Samuel, who was battling the flu, but managed a third win on the card for a fine Saturday triple. To win those two features, the two biggest features, then to win the third, not only not only the winnings, but I mean placing and stuff was I think it had a tremendous day due to the fact that I rode like I was I was pretty sick and I rode to those ten races having the flu and, and, and getting over that on the race there. At TNT Santa Rosa Park, six runners contested the two-year-old and over main event, the three-year-old gelding Desert Dancer, the favorite targeting a fifth win this year. Commentator Nick Cheney takes them into the home stretch. And here they come off the turn and into the stretch. 300 out. Desert Dancer shows the way. Desert Dancer half a length. Resurgent on the inside is one for the road. I see you trying to come back from third, followed by the tactician. Here is Desert Dancer and one for the road. Desert Dancer has the lead though. I see you trying to come back as well as one for the road. But here is Desert Dancer to win it. Desert Dancer wins. Desert Dancer as an even money favorite scores in race two for imported two-year-old and over maidens and West Indies bred three-year-old and over racers. Ex-champion jockey Brand Boudram sing aboard for the win by three quarters of a length, clocking 123 for six and three quarter furlongs for trainer John Leotor. Meanwhile, TNT racing fans are excited about the return from injury this weekend of three-time horse of the year, big man in town to defend his Caribbean champion stakes title. 
in a good field that includes number three, the 2016 Derby winner, Academy Award, two previous Derby winners, numbers six and seven, Momentum and Free Passage, and the five horse, Magical Victory, who is on a two race winning streak. Two Cayman as part now in Jamaica. The United Racehorse Trainers Association trophy was the main event on Saturday, and it delivered a rousing finish for the fans. Coming off the final turn, Brand Rickman has a call. They're into it now, a quarter of a mile to go. Awesome Destiny asked for everything by the rider in between horses. Birdcatcher on the outside and Will in charge now beginning to come closer on that rail. Awesome Destiny battling in the final furlong. Will in charge now moves down into second. Birdcatcher is going the wrong way back in third. It's Awesome Destiny pumped out by Bebito Harvey. A length in front of Will in charge. And Awesome Destiny wins the United Racehorse Trainers Association trophy. Awesome Destiny shows grit to to beat the favorite will in charge to score by a length and a quarter with Beb Harvey riding for trainer Gary Sabrati clocking 154 for 9.1 furlongs. Young apprentice Harvey would also land the secondary feature taking command leaving the back stretch he would easily steer the favorite Jamai Raja to victory in the overnight allowance event. As a 3-5 to five favorite Jamai Raja tunes up for the diamond mile with a third consecutive win unchallenged here by nine lengths for trainer Richard Azan clocking a very decent 144.60 for eight and a half furlongs. Finally now some action from overseas, first to the United States where the Jamaican jockey Sean Bridgemahon collected the ninth stakes win of his 2016 campaign, competing in the Cardinal Stakes at Churchill Downs. Coming through on the outside, Bridgemahon rallies the 5-2 favorite cash control to a strong finish. The 37 year old Bridgemahon, who was the 1998 Eclipse Award winner as the Apprentice Jockey of the Year in all of North America, Eventually pulling clear for the easy win in the US $100,000 Cardinal Stakes, cash control clocks 149.39 for the win by four lengths for trainer Brad Cox. Across the Atlantic to British Jump Racing, Saturday's massive day at Haydock and the Bet Fair Chase going more than three miles. The highlight event, the favorite Q card showed just how good he is even at 10 years old. Surely he's got it one again. It's Q card who races down to the final fence at Haydock with another bet fair chase at his mercy and he's over safely. It's Q card now off the running. Less than a furlong to cover. Cody Grease run well in second on his comeback run. But it's Q card, the best staying chaser in Britain last season, storming up the running to win his third bet fair chase. Q card. Q card is stout in victory on the jockey Paddy Brennan as the 15 to 8 favorite, his third triumph in the 209,000 pound event and clocking 6 minutes 22.72 for the trip of 3 miles and 24 yards. We've been at the track covering top stories in the sport of kings. Check us out again next week.